Hello, this is in focus. Maybe. So, um, I'm making this tiny rant with terrible lighting because my friend, she went to get her oil changed and the guy at the automotive station took it upon himself to pull her number from their computer system and text her um, after she had left the store telling her that, hang on, I wanna know exactly what it is that he said. He said, hey, I talked to you for your oil change. By the way, you're super cute and I loved your style. Sorry to take your number for our, from our computer. And like, sure, that sounds harmless. One, that's illegal. What you did was literally illegal because you took, you, it, that's like outside company policy. You can't take customers, like customers phone numbers and use them for your own personal use. Like that's just like not bueno. Two, some fuck boy commented on this and was like, he was just trying to give you a compliment. You don't have to take everything so hard. I'm like, bro, I, this is completely unsolicited. What she said is that they exchanged a couple sentences in person and like, if he wanted to say something to her, he could have fucking said it in person. And then he could have like asked for her number in person instead of going through. <sighs> I just, <sighs> you see, part of me is like, oh, like, yeah, you know, he was just being nice. Like it's harmless. And the other part, and the other part of me, the part that's right is like, no, that's fucking creepy as shit. And there's no need for her or anyone to be flattered by that. Like, I, I'm not flattered when dudes fucking cat call me in the street when I'm walking to my improv class and some guy leans out of his truck window to yell nice ass as he's literally speeding down the street. It's like, oh, it's still, fucking creepy and it's weird and for people to think they're like oh it's just a compliment i'm like no this guy got her number through like totally non-legitimate means and went out of his way to text her and like i just oh i hate that this kind of behavior is so normalized and that this is the type of shit that we're meant to think is flattering like what Oh, what the fuck is up with that? Like, what the fuck is up with that? I, I oh, this is not coherent because I'm just, I am just so, oh, I don't, I don't owe you jack shit, ever. If I'm nice to you, it's because I'm a decent human being. I don't owe you like flirtation or my number or anything just because you've been nice to me or just because we had a pleasant conversation or anything like that. I don't, I don't owe you shit. If I'm not interested, I'm not interested, bro. You don't need to circumvent your fucking policies to get my goddamn number. It's like every interaction, every interaction that I've ever had with a man has always ended in me feeling obligated. I'm not gonna cry about this. It's always ended in me feeling obligated because yeah, this guy comes up to me at the bar. He's not attractive. I don't find him attractive. And yet I feel obligated to give him some of my time even though I none of this is go like, I don't, this isn't gonna go anywhere. But like, oh no, you know, he's nice. Like I should at least like talk to him for a bit. When like this guy comes up to me out of fucking nowhere and just starts chatting me up into the bar when I am in the middle of a conversation with my friend. Why the fuck should I owe him anything? Or like when I was grocery shopping, <laughs> this was a couple years ago. I was grocery shopping cause I was looking for apples. I had both of my headphones in, both of them. And I was, trying to find apples and this, I hear a person talking next to me. I keep searching through apples. He cut, his voice is closer to my head. I turn, he's looking at me approximately like this close from my face. And I was like, oh, sorry, what? 
You could clearly see that I had headphones in, but what is it that you were so trying, so desperately trying to communicate to me? And he was like, oh, so you must be some kind of Apple connoisseur, huh? And I was like, ha ha ha. And so I like obliged him with like two minutes of conversation. And then I'm like, okay, have a nice day. And as I try to walk away, he reaches out, gets this close to grabbing my arm, thankfully thinks better of it at the last minute and says, oh, do you want to like get a drink or something? And I was like, oh, I'm 19. And he was like, never mind. And I was like, yeah, you dick. And it's like, I don't, and I also hate that my, that, that my response is politeness. That like, I feel like I have to be like, oh, like to come, like, why do I have to be nice? Why do I have to be nice to people that are like, that think they have a right to my everything, that they have a right to my body and my time and my energy. Like, I don't have to be polite to you. Like what? <sighs> when someone talks to me and I really don't want to talk to them, I just want to be alone. But no, of course, I have to smile and I have to nod and I have to be kind and I have to be like, oh, I'm sorry. Because when I'm not, they might fucking kill me. Like, that is a real... That's a real thing that, like... Women have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, what type... Like, what kind of bullshit is that? And I saw a thing on Tumblr today. And... This guy fucking... You know, okay, so he was a virgin and he went on a killing spree and I think he killed like seven women or something. And the comments were people saying like, that should teach these bitches to actually be nice to us. They should appreciate the nice guy when they come around. Oh, you don't want to kill them though. You want to like drug them and rape them so that they go into a state of like martyrdom. And so that it's like, you can like pull a Stockholm syndrome on them. And these are comments from real people in the real world. And you might, you might be a very, very nice person. That could be totally true. And like, being rejected hurts. It sucks. Like, that's not a fun feeling, but it's something that everyone deals with. But it's like, you're scared of being rejected, I am scared of being murdered, or assaulted, or attacked, all the time. There are little things programmed into our brains that, like, young girls are taught to do from, like, however, like, when you walk from your car, you make sure that you hold your keys between your fingers like this, so it turns into, like, a knife. And you never want to walk with your headphones in um, because people will then see you as like a possible target that they could like come up behind you. Um, if you're alone, don't fill your gas tank at night. Um, don't go anywhere alone at night as a woman, ever. I wish that I could walk down the street to the bar that is literally two blocks away from me, but I'm terrified of being attacked. Like, I don't live in, like, a shady neighborhood or whatever. So, no, I should not be flattered by your unsolicited bullshit. I don't owe you anything. Ugh. I hate the way that, I hate the way that women are programmed to act around men. I hate it. I hate it. It makes me so mad. It makes me so mad. It makes me so mad. I hate that like whenever I see a dude, whenever I see someone, whenever I see a guy that I find remotely like this much attractive, I can like tell the way my like body shifts and how I like want to become more, you know, palatable or appealing or whatever type of bullshit. Like what the fuck is that about? That might just be a me thing. I don't think it is. But it's like, why? 
That doesn't happen when I see a pretty girl. When I see a pretty girl that I might be interested in, I'm just like, oh, wow. And it's just like, I get flustered and all that type of stuff. But when I see, I, I feel like, I feel this need to like impress men, which is like, oh, it makes me want to vomit. It makes me want to vomit because it makes me feel like it makes me feel like I'm not even like the center of my own universe. It's like it's like I'm the center of my own universe. But as soon as like a potential like interesting male partner comes into it, it's like, oh, we're in orbit now. No, 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 no. Oh! I can't even articulate everything that I want to say about this, but it just it fucking pisses me off. No, it's not a goddamn compliment. It's not a compliment. You know what is a compliment? When the very kind checkout, when the very, very kind guy at the checkout counter at this fabric store that I was at the other day said, I just wanted to let you know that you are very pretty. And I said, thank you. And he said, that's all I wanted to say. And I was like, great, thank you. And then that was it. That was like the end of that transaction. And then I paid and he said, have a great day. And I said, you too. And then I left. That was that. That's how giving a compliment should be. You shouldn't give me a compliment and I say thanks and then you're like, what, you don't wanna fuck me? I'm like, no, bro. I know I'm beautiful. Like, I know that I'm pretty physically attractive. You reminding me of that fact isn't gonna suddenly change my mind. It's not gonna make me be like, oh my God, I have to have you right now. You told me I have beautiful eyes. I don't know what I did before you. Fuck that noise. Oh my God. It just makes me so mad. Yeah, I know it's like, I know not all men are terrible. I know some very, very wonderful, wonderful men. I actually know a lot of wonderful men. But there are just so many bad ones. And I think it's just the fact that like, fucking dudes just like assume I wanna talk to them. If I'm alone anywhere, oh, she's looking for an invitation. No, maybe I'm just sitting at this bar by myself because I wanna be sitting at this bar by myself. What a fucking concept. Not every single moment of my life revolves around trying to pick up dudes or try and get laid like yours obviously does. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Nope. Nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, 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 no. Yep. This is basically it. He creeped her out and he took her personal information without her permission. That is not flattering or charming or okay. I don't owe you anything and neither does any other girl. Women don't owe men jack shit ever. I'm about to go to bed. Now I'm all worked up. Oh no. <laughs>